Hey everybody, so the vlog that you are about to watch is actually from this past Saturday, but before we start, I wanted to take a second um, and talk about Houston. Harvey. Obviously, most of you know Hurricane Harvey came in and it's been devastating to people um, in Houston and in the greater Houston, um, Texas area. And if you're like me, um, when you first heard about it, your first reaction was to pray, obviously. Sweet Bear and I have been praying daily for it. But also, there was this feeling of, I want to do something, I want to help, but perhaps I don't feel necessarily called, or perhaps I'm not even able to drop everything right now and, and go down there physically. So what do I do? How do I help? I want to help. And that's something I've been struggling with and thinking about and praying over for the last couple of days now. And just last night, I read a really great article on practical ways that you or I or anybody from anywhere can help to provide aid to those who are in need. So I link that below. Please go and check it out. Um, it's very good. And then last but not least, before we start this vlog, I want to say to Houston and everyone in that greater Houston, Texas area, whether uh, you live there and you've been displaced or you travel down there to help, we are praying for you and we love you. Enjoy the vlog. Good morning, fam. It's a great day. It's Saturday. Sweet Bear's at a wedding, which means it's a bachelor day for me and Buckets. It's a bachelor day for me and Buckets. Truck, it's truck, it's truck, it's truck, 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 dirty dog. It's just a boy's day for me and Buckets, and it also means that while Sweet Bear is away, it's time to film videos. Didn't work. Uh, I got a few videos to film for my John Jorgensen channel today, and for those of you who really follow it, um, pretty much all of those videos, aside from obviously my live speaking and the spoken word, they are filmed in this apartment. So I have essentially four sets. This apartment that I am standing in right now, this one, it's a bit of a mess, it is around 800 square feet. Not very big, as many of you know. But I have pulled off four very distinct, very different sets or settings for my videos. First, let's talk seven minute sermons. Seven minute sermons are filmed at my desk, which is looking really rough right now, but usually from about, I don't know, this angle, right? This is my desk right here. And then the kitchen is right there. There's the chalkboard wall where I film the Can A Christian series. Can a Christian do this? Can a Christian do that? I film that there which then leads into the living room, which right here is where I film, as many of you know, A Day in the Word, the internet's favorite Bible study, bringing us back around into the bedroom, which is where I film out of context. I put the camera here, take the TV down, put the camera up, boom. Sorry it's all a mess right now. Uh, Sweet Bear had to get ready for a wedding this morning and so it was, we were in high gear at this apartment. But anyway, that is how I make the most of 800 square feet and film four very distinct YouTube series. You don't have to have a lot of money. You just make do with what you have and try and make it as cool or as good as possible. It forces you to be creative, you know what I mean? But anyway, today I'm filming those. Um, Sweet Bear's gone all day at her wedding. I'm praying for her. She's gonna be fantastic. And then, uh, yeah, DJ's gonna come over later and we're gonna watch the fight. Whoa, 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 rare footage, rare footage, rare footage. So this is my current journal that I'm rocking. Um, here's my Bible. And I just found this picture of Sweet Bear and I. This is, I don't even know, man. Why do I look on the back? Does it say when it was developed? No, it doesn't. This had to have been maybe summer of 2010, 2009. Um, anyway, but this picture, we're working a day camp together. Oh no, it's probably, I could probably find out because of the, I think it was 2011, because that's when we had the orange staff shirts. This is at a day camp that we worked together at for many years. Um, and this picture, for some reason, I, I have kept it in the back of my Bible or my Bible journal for 
I don't know, six years now. And I don't know, I was just moving stuff around to get ready to film and this popped up. So she is hot stuff. All right, all right, all right. I just finished a whole lot of filming, a whole lot of editing, just a whole lot of work. And now I'm on a little walk to go on a top secret mission. The 20 minute walk. Hey y'all, I'm back from the grocers. I got a little hair sticking out over here. Uh, back, showered, feeling good, and I'm about to do something that a lot of you probably don't know about. Every month, I do a patron only live stream. Uh, I'm on Patreon, Patreon, thank you to all my Patreon supporters. Uh, they help me support my other channel, John Jorgensen. Um, they give a certain amount of money, each month to help support the channel and in return there's a bunch of different rewards and one of them for a certain tier is once a month I get on a live stream with just that group of people and answer their questions and we talk for a little while um, and so if you're interested in that you can uh, check out my patreon page which I'll try and remember to link blah, in the description but anyways I'm gonna do this live stream with them then I'm gonna eat some food relax for a little bit and then DJ's coming over for the fight. No jumping. No jumping. It's fight night. You ready to rumble? <laughs> oh man. So here's the punchline about this fight. DJ and I, neither of us like boxing. Neither of us know very much about it. But it's gonna be fun. I, it, I hope it's fun. Okay, so we're waiting for the fight to start, even though apparently it's not going to start for a couple hours at least. Two, three. Two or three hours. Because um, yeah. this whole thing is just ridiculous. But Deej, who you got? Uh, I hate to say it, but Mayweather's going to win. Yeah. He's, he's like, too good. Oh, yeah. But he's too good for actual boxers. Yeah. It'd be incredible if McGregor, like I want McGregor to win just for the spectacle of it and like everyone will go crazy if right. he wins uh, and he's Irish. Do you think it's all scripted? Do you think it's all a big stunt? Do you think this is WWE essentially? I think if there is, if it like goes to a decision with the judges and then like there's like a draw or something or McGregor wins on a decision, then it might be scripted because they might be like just having another, like setting it up for a rematch just right. to make more money. I mean, the but, whole thing is just a stunt to make money, period. Oh, yeah. Right. Period. Yeah, if it's anything other than like pure domination by Mayweather, then there's something fishy. Yeah. So you're going Mayweather. Yeah. I'm going Connor McGregor Woo. in a knockout, knockout, but probably something illegal. <laughs> I don't know what's illegal necessarily. Oh, I guess he would, but he would win the fight. Yeah. Ugh. He wouldn't win the boxing match. That'd be amazing. But he would win the fight. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't watch boxing. I don't like boxing. Part of me is disappointed in myself for <laughs> even taking part in this spectacle, but. Yeah, it's the biggest thing in sports tonight. It is literally, besides Division II football, so <laughs> this is what, this is what we're doing. Buckets is pumped. <laughs> okay, so we're getting ready to watch the fight and we're just going through a bunch of like, <laughs> a bunch of streams on YouTube of people who are trying to stream the fight. <laughs> and this guy is live streaming him looking for YouTube live streams. I'm trying to do all these couple of sites. He is live streaming his laptop. For roast these nuts. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. We're ready. Fight's gonna start. Any minute. We're all set. Ready to go. Any last minute predictions? I think we're gonna see every detail on this fight. 
on the big screen that we're watching it on. <laughs> we're watching it on TJ's phone. It's gonna be amazing. Oh man. <laughs> I think it is going to, dis this fight will disappoint everyone. That's my thoughts. That's it, that's the end of the fight. Mayweather won, as expected. Sweet Bear is home, as even more expected. I am very expected. against boxing, just for the record. I think yeah. it's stupid, I don't think it should exist. What about you, Thanks Dad? for coming in with that positivity. Anyway, that's the end of the vlog, that's the end of the night. We'll see you all another time, in another place. No, oh, probably same place on this couch. Love you all. Keep being awesome.